that if the United States leaves Southeast Asia in defeat, on that day the whole free world will begin to crumble. Ezra Taft Benson offered one solution that is, hasn't been given too much attention up to now. Mr. Benson. I recently returned from two weeks in war-threatened and war-torn Asia. The men of Vietnam who are ready to give their all in the defense of freedom, who worry about reports from home of rioters, draft card burners, and other citizens many times more numerous, who seem oblivious to the threat to our freedom as they continue to enjoy their comfortable complacency. Regardless of any question of our involvement in Vietnam, we are there and we are involved. So what do we do now? We should concentrate on doing whatever is necessary to bring our boys home. But before we bring them home, we should let them finish the job most of them thought they were sent there to do. Let the communists see what good-natured Uncle Sam can still do when a bully picks a fight with him. Drop those suicidal limited political objectives and launch a massive military campaign. Topple the Hano regime and dictate rather than negotiate the peace terms. Then bring our boys home. Will this bring Red China into the war? Red China is already in the war. The best way to get her out of it is to let Chiang Kai-shek join us as he has requested. He stands ready with 600,000 well-trained men who know how to fight under Asian conditions. Our no-win policy in Vietnam, instead of promoting peace, only set the stage for settling the problem for the time being with a coalition government of communists and non-communists. And this virtually ensures continued war.